Thank you, choir members. This year, Saddleback High School has the honor of recognizing Marlene Matus as valedictorian for the class of 2014. At this time, we'd like to invite Marlene to speak to you. Thank you. Good afternoon, parents, students, and staff. My name is Marlene Matus, and it is with a great pleasure that I am Saddleback's Class of 2014 Valedictorian. First off, I would like to thank my parents, Roberto and Alicia, and my sisters for supporting me all the way through. Without them, I wouldn't know where I would be today. As we all know, the sand in the hourglass is giving its last grains, and now we are here to celebrate our accomplishments, growth, and by far biggest achievement as students, high school. Some people may consider graduating from high school an expectation, but I believe that it's an achievement because many of our parents here present with us do not have the opportunity to, realize, to finalize their education and must be proud to see their children graduate on a special day. High school was a little bucket of surprises as I never expected all that happened. As an incoming freshman, I was shy and quiet. I can definitely say that I never imagined myself being up here on the, sta on the stage and speaking to you all. But just like my efforts slowly began to transform into accomplishments, you all have the potential to achieve the unimagined. Do not conform to the minimum, but rather be hungry for growth as an intellectual and spiritual individual. I hope to hear in the future that this talented group of students has broken the norms and are more than just a statistic in our society as well as the Hispanic, Hispanic community. Judge Maria Gonzalez recently said in a ceremony, it is okay to break the rules as long as you don't break the law. <laughs> Upon hearing this, I realized how much truth her words held because sometimes life has imposed obstacles that want to rule our future, confining people from achieving their dreams. Luckily, as humans, we have all been gifted with the ability to emerge in, um, in spite of our challenges. I personally face a condition named Duane Syndrome that limits my eye movement, but as I like to see it, everything happens for a reason. And there are always two sides to a coin. From my experience, I became a determined and persistent person who wasn't going to take no for an answer. During the time that I was still becoming acquainted with this obstacle that I was given, I was insecure and felt I need to fit in with everyone else, but as I grew older, I thought, what if I wasn't meant to be like everyone else? And the inner voice whispered, duh, because no one can be like anyone else. Um, all the challenges that we encounter, whether we like it or not, make us who we are, affecting our present, but not defining our future. Today we graduate, but I still remember my first day of high school like it was yesterday. Isn't it funny how we didn't want high school to start the first day because we were scared of what was going to happen after the first bell rang, and now a small part of us doesn't want to leave because we will miss seeing our close friends and mentors on a daily basis? I consider myself an extremely fortunate person to have met teachers and counselors at school who were supportive as Mrs. Villarreal, Mrs. Henderson, Mr. Lee, and Mr. Contreras. All inspiring people who know how to motivate any students that know them. I want to emphasize how important it is to have friends that will enrich you with positivity. Find a best friend to trust like I did in Kelly Mendoza a best friend that is a leader to motivate you like Francisco Ibarra has with me, a friend so spirited like Jose Medina, someone to give you a good advice like Valeria, uh, and someone that spreads their good humor like oftentimes Noelle and Diana did with me. Just like you have friends that inspire you, aim to become someone that inspires others to become successful. Be more that others, be, be someone that others 
a joy to have as company because I have also witnessed from high school that external beauty isn't worth anything if inside, like Jesse Escalante says, girl, that's ugly. <laughs> Remember to give back to the world just like the world has given to you. Yes, a door has closed, but a new one, a new chapter in our lives has opened. At the end, only you make the decisions, so live your life to the fullest, but be conscious of the steps you take. I wish you all the best of luck in your endeavors, and don't look onto the past, because it doesn't matter where you start, only where you finish. And follow Mr. World's life, Advice close to heart. Parriba, parante, pa fuera, dale. Congratulations, Class of 2014. Thank you. Thank you, Marlene. This year, Salabac High School has the honor of recognizing Emily Garrett as co salutatorian for the Class of 2014. At this time, we'd like to invite Emily to speak to you. Good afternoon, friends, family, staff, and finally, the graduating class of 2014. My name is Emily Garrett, and I stand before you as one of your salutatorians. And I bet most of us are tired after grad night. Many of us deserved it from the late night practices to the sore fingers from overplaying, or to the early morning call, call times. I don't know about you guys, but my four years in high school have been like one big band class. Through my four years, I have made the greatest friends that will all, always hold a special place in my heart, like Brenda, my best friend, and the person I could always count on, like my trusty clarinet, or Valerie, the voice who pushed me, like the tempo of each movement, or Amanda, the friend who was there whenever I needed her, like my white gloves with the cut fingertips. Our journey to arrival here wasn't easy. It was a challenging piece of music with finger twisting runs, accidentals, and key changes. After this ceremony, we will all begin our new lives, like we begin a new piece. It, it will be challenging like all new pieces are, but soon we'll be able to be our best at it. From the crescendos that represent life's intensities to the retardandos that represent the slow times we may encounter, and to the accents that represent the abrupt, abruptness life throws our way. We all have to be prepared with our chest out and chins high, set and ready to be called to attention to start this piece. Even though each of us play a different instrument, we all experience some amazing events through this journey, whether it be performing at the assemblies, being at competitions, or playing at another school. But we haven't gone through this journey alone. We have all had the wonderful support of our friends and family who who have been the audience that pushed us and cheered us on at each performance. And we couldn't forget some of the amazing teachers who helped us helped us here, like Miss Q, the clarinet with their technical lessons, um, challenging coursework, and kind personality. Or Dr. Prothero, the violin, with his wild antics and subtle puns that most people didn't understand. <laughs> Or even Mr. Harlan, the saxophone, with his jazzy personality and creative actions. We, are all, we all were able to grow from the lessons and gain a bond stronger than just student and teacher, but fellow band members. Each class we took, each book we read or didn't read, and each sheet of paper we used was all to prepare us for what our new conductors have in store for us. We are all going to miss these years together with the bonds we've made, the laughs we've shared, and the words we've exchanged. But it is time to move on from this piece and show the world what amazing performers Saddleback has made us. Now I know most of us are scared to see what the new piece has in store, but we need to accept it for all the beauty and sorrow that may lie within its pages. Today we are in our final movement and we have played long and hard to get here. Although most of our starting members aren't here today, we are the ones that push past the broken reeds, lost valve oil, and minimal water breaks to break the top performers. Wait. To become the top performers. The last few measures of the piece are drawing to a close, and the moment they have us switch our tassels to the left, we will have played our last chord. All of this piece will be behind us, and the new piece will be placed on our stand. Because even though everyone will see us how they want to see us, all we can do is smile and prepare for the music ahead.
Thank you, Emily. Saraback also has the honor of recognizing Valeria Munoz as co-salutatorian for the class of 2014. At this time, we'd like to invite Valeria to speak to you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Valeria Munoz, and I am also your class of 2014 salutatorian. Um, I would like to start off by saying that we finally made it. In a few minutes, we will finally be graduates and adults in the real world. We will be taking different paths in life, and I hope everybody makes the best of their future. Everybody will face different obstacles and difficulties that will shape them into the person they will become. Whatever problems we face, I can assure you that we will be able to overcome them if we put our heart, mind, and actions to it. I was born in Hidalgo, Mexico, and came here at the age of four. Being undocumented never really affected me until I reached high school, and I started being turned away from certain programs. For a little less than a year, I was on the verge of giving up because I didn't see how it was all going to work out. Slowly, and with the help of my parents, Silvia Vera and Rodolfo Muñoz, my friends, Shosana Barca, Raul Carrillo, Brian Gonzalez, Emily Garrett, Marlene Matus, Jason Navas, Kristen Nguyen, and Selena Sarabia, and my mentors, Mabel Quijano, Mr. Martinez, Mr. Perez, Mrs. Ana Brenda Quesada, and Mrs. Fabiola Quesada, I realized that I had to do my best. I decided that I had to do whatever I could in order to make it to college, graduate, pursue a master's degree, graduate again, and hopefully by then the immigration laws would have changed. I can't put myself in your shoes and experience the troubles that each and one of you might be going through. Some of us might have it rougher than the others, but in the end, realize that we live in a country of opportunity and that there are good people who want to help you out. With everything going on in this world and the bad things the media shows us, Many of us can't help but pay attention to the negative side of life without realizing that there's a good part to it. Compared to the millions of people with good hearts, there's only a handful that are bad. Please don't let yourself believe in the negativity of those people and of the people around you. Surround yourself with people who want what is best for you, who want you to get an education and succeed in life. The opportunities are there. All you have to do is go out and look for them. We've beat the odds, and statistics showing that many of us will not be able to make it through high school. Many believe that our lives are predestined to be like that of our parents, but I believe otherwise. Even though some of us come from a low socioeconomic background, I believe that if we work very hard to change our lives, we will become something more than what we know. Among us, there might be the next family doctor, lawyer, policeman, or even astronaut that will make a difference in the future. We all have great potential that we must convert into actions in order to live a better life and provide a better life for our loved ones. It will be difficult to break our predestined stereotypes, but it is also not impossible. On July 27th, I will be starting school at Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles and will be studying to become a civil engineer. LMAU offered me a scholarship which will be covering all of my financial needs for the next four years in college. I hope to earn a master's in civil engineering in order to help underdeveloped countries around the world, especially in Central America and Africa, attain clean water and promote working sewage systems. I hope we all pursue an education and pursue our dreams in order to give this, wor this world a better future. I sincerely and from the bottom of my heart hope that you all work hard to conquer what you think is unconquerable and that you live happy, peacefully, and productively. Finally, I would like to thank Sarabak High School, all of their staff and their teachers, because they've helped us become the, pers the people who we are today and for sure they will shape us in the future. So thank you, Class of 2014, and have a great day and a great life. Thank you, Val. Good afternoon. Four years ago, Saddleback High School opened as the college major school and introduced the class of 2014 to a higher level of expectations. Our students learned how to make new academic efforts, incorporating goal setting, learning objectives, thinking maps, and integrating technology into their work. The class of 2014 has met these expectations. They've given their evidence 
through an outstanding round of senior portfolio interviews. There is much individual recognition given to the class of 2014, and when I finish this section, seniors, I want to do a recognition stand when we get to the end. Overall, the class of 2014 is represented by 63 medallions of excellence, 43 Seal of Fire Literacy Medals, 23 Puente Seniors, 11 District Top 100 Scholars, 8 Simon Scholars, including Simon Scholar of the Year, Selene Sarabia, 5 Career Beginning Scholarships, 4 Santa Ana College Adelante Scholarships, 4 Assistant League of Santa Ana Scholarships, and 3 Hispanic Education Endowment Fund Scholarships. All 29 of our avid seniors are graduating today. They have proved to be hardworking, dedicated, and determined to succeed. 48% of these seniors were accepted to four-year universities and will be attending Cal State, UC, or private universities this fall. We also want to recommend or recognize some of our other groups, our Puente program, outstanding Puente program that we have here, and also our ASB students. If we've mentioned you just once or more, would you please stand? Thank you so much, seniors. Good job. <clears throat> Valedictorian and top female scholar Marlene Matus will attend UCLA and major in neuroscience. She is very thankful for having the motivation of her parents and peers and seeks to continue making them proud with her accomplishments. Co-salutatorian Emily Garrett will attend UC Davis and major in music and biology. Her self-motivation and her mother inspired her to do well in school and to continue her education. Co-salutatorian Valeria Munoz will attend Loyola Marymount University on a four-year social justice scholarship this is worth over $200,000. She will major in civil engineering. In the future, she hopes to help people in underdeveloped countries. She's inspired to do well in school so that one day she will have the resources to help others. Top male scholar, David Rees. Where is David? Will attend UCI and major in criminology. Academic recognition is an honor to him because it signifies his hard work has paid off. And of course, on the podium with us today, ASB President Francisco Ibarra. <laughs> Top 100 scholar will attend UCLA and major in English. His family, teachers, and peers have motivated him to succeed, working hard every day to be where he is today. He thanks the district for recognizing his efforts. Saddleback High School athletic teams have been historically competitive. Girls soccer had their first ever CIF playoff victory. Where are you? Let's hear you, girls soccer. Maritza Perez accepted a Division II soccer scholarship to Minot State in North Dakota. There she is. Girls Volleyball received for the third year in a row the CIF Academic Achievement Award. All the girls on the volleyball team maintain a 3.5 GPI or higher. GPA, excuse me. I just made up something new. <laughs> girls Soccer, Girls Water Polo, Girls Basketball, Boys Water Polo, and Boys Volleyball all made the CIF playoffs. Let's have all of them stand. You're a CIF playoff. Yeah. In track, Marissa Perez qualified for the CIF track meet in four events. Where is she? In swimming, Valerie Acosta finished eighth in the CIF. In boys swimming, our boys 4x100 freestyle relay team qualified for CIF and broke our school record in that event. Where are they? There they are. 
And of course, our Senior Athletes of the Year are Valeria Costa and Diego Luke Casillo. There's Diego. Our Visual and Performing Arts Department has been historically strong. The band took first place at La Palma Day Parade and performed at the Hawaii Performance Invitational. Senior Jesse Escalante received a Color Guard Scholarship. Suzette Panduro and Amanda Assad were leadership medalists. You heard them a little earlier. The Chamber Singers performed at Southern California Vocal Association Festival and earned a rating of excellence. Curtis Van Sickle won first place at the Huntington Beach Design Your Own Dream Bar competition. There he is. And Luis Lopez was an award winner at the Arts Inspiration event at the Bowers Museum. Not to be left out, our dance team, led, uh, led by their captain, Jasmine Velasquez, performed at the Santa Ana Festival and placed second at the Telemundo 52 competition. Our cheer squad was also there, and they received the Sportsman Award for the same competition. So let's give them a hand. All of these accomplishments are evidence of the supportive relationship that the Saddleback staff enjoys with our students. Let's take a moment to recognize our Saddleback staff and department chairs that are present today. I'd also like to remember two of Saddleback's finest. <coughs> it's a little difficult. Former assistant principal Carl Camacho, who passed away recently and LAPD officer um, Roberto Sanchez, uh, the class of 200, who passed away recently. As class of 2014 leaves Saddleback today, I know that each of you will build upon the, trial, the proud tradition of academic excellence and integrity that has been a part of Saddleback's history. The Saddleback staff and I are confident that we have prepared you for the challenges ahead. As you go out into the world, Seek those individuals who are positive role models, set your educational and career goals high, and commit to attaining them. On the behalf of the Saddleback staff, it has been a privilege to serve this outstanding class of 2014. Congratulations. Okay. By the certification of the staff at Saddleback High School, I do hereby affirm that all requirements set forth by the Board of Education of the Santa Ana Unified School District have been met by these seniors. Thank you, Dr. Laxton, for leading such a fine school. By the authority vested in me by the Santa Ana Board of Trustees and by the certification of the faculty of Saddleback High School, I do hereby confirm that all requirements set forth by the Board of Education of the Santa Ana Unified School District have been met by these seniors and confer the high school diploma on the class of 2014 with all the rights and privileges thereto attached. Go forth, Roadrunners, with continued success. Congratulations. Okay, class of 2014, prepare for the awarding of the diplomas.
your mouth wide. Your mouth wide and straight. Francisco Ibarra. <laughs> Ashley Tanielu. <laughs> Valeria Muñoz Vera. <laughs> Jessica Cuellar. <laughs> Emily Garrett. <laughs> Andrea Martin Del Campo. Marlene Matus, Lisbeth Guzman, Shostan Abarca, Jeremy Ruiz. Eran Covarrubias, Cesar Avila. Jesus Garcia. Victor Gonzalez, <laughs> Kelly Mendoza, Valerie Acosta, <laughs> Selene Saravia, <laughs> Melissa Barrera, <laughs> Marissa Flournoy, <laughs> Jacqueline Cabello, <laughs> Steven Mejia, Jesus Cerda, Brian Arajo, Shirley Delgado, Giovanni Castellan, Ricky Frasto, Yesenia Chavez, Victor Guillén. Marisol Ibáñez, Carla Gómez, Jolissa Tatiana Mendoza, Stephanie Herrera, Jesenia Navarro, Yaneli Jiménez, Yesenia Pineda, Emma Muñoz. Angeles Salgado, Marissa Perez, Judith Tejo, David Ruiz, Becky Valle, Sarah Wayne Sia, Hector Aguilar. Luis Lopez, Brittany Walker, Maria Montalban, Gabriel Bale, Misaraí Ocampo, Daisy Castro, Suzette Panduro, Ileana Martinez. Erica Quintero, Jasmine Torres, Joanna Aguilar, Josephine Osorio, Sandra Andres, Mary Andrew Lievanos, Yolanda Ocampo, Marvin Torres, Raylene Perez, Gloria Velasquez, Sierra Sieber, Joshua Aguilar, 
Joshua Adame, Leslie Alanis, Jacqueline Alanis, Lisette Alba, Jose Alanis, Fred Arambula, Giovanni Alvarez, Alicia Alvarez Sarate, Jose Angeles, Alexis Aguirre, Daisy Aramburo, Nazario Arellano, Crystal Arellano, Edgar Arellanes, Victor Ariola, Amanda Asad, Monica Arisu, Vicente Ariola, Jimmy Alas, Brenda Barcelo, Julian Barajas, Jason Ayala, Nancy Bale, Jacqueline Bravo, Denise Barroso, Era Bastida, Jocelyn Berciaga, Jesse Castellan, Juana Cabrera, Alejandro Cabrera, Cristina Castillera, Noel Castro, Cassandra. Roberto Sendejas, Kevin Ceronio, Brandon Chavez, Jessica Chacon, Giovanni Corral, Fernando Chavez, Sydney Curitan, Mary Carmen Cortez. Kimberly De La Cruz, Tyler Davis, Efraín Delgado, Raúl De La Torre, Vitia Díaz, Sonia Delgado, Jesse Escalante, Freddy Díaz. Guadalupe Escobedo, Remigio Escanuela, Ruby Espinosa, Tiffany Espino, Caroline Fernandez, Adriana Estrella, Jacqueline Flores. Francisco Flores, Yasmin Flores, Ramiro Flores, Janet Galán, Andres Flores, Daisy Flores, Isaiah Franks, Anthony Garcia. Adam Garcia, Adrián Galindo, Aurora Garcia, Evelyn Garcia, Francisco Garcia, Marcos Garcia, Karina Garcia, Juan Garcia. Soshi Garcia, Natalie Garcia, Maria Gardona, Marlene Gomez, Denise Gomez, Carlos Gomez, Victor Gomez, 
Camayel González. José González. Marcos González. Anthony González. Henry Guadarrama. Kevin Guerra. Marvin Guillen. Teresa Guillen. Virginia Gonzalez. Adriana Hernandez. Raymond Otto. Maria Hernandez, Chelsea Hernandez, Rosendo Higuera, Lucas Hernandez, Tiffany Isasaga, Pedro Hernandez, Marisa Jimenez. Juarez, Cindy Jato, Ramses Laguna, Eduardo Juarez, Alfredo Lomeli, Lucana Kim, Angeles Liberato. Eros Leal, Rosa Lopez, Ricardo Luna, Alonso Lopez, Melissa Lopez, Salvador Lucas, Alfonso Lopez. Diego Lacrucio, Denise Lobo, Tom Mai, Daniel Mandujano, Jasmine Monzo, Rosa Marin, Manuel Marquez, Osvaldo Macias, Alvaro Martinez, Abraham Martinez, Edgar Mendoza, Anthony Martinez, Eduardo Martinez, Jennifer Martinez, Luisa Martinez, Luis Martinez. Brian Medina, Andy Matus, Andres Mejia, Jose Medina, Juan Mendez, Luis Melchor, Jorge Meraz. David Mendoza, Pamela Monserrat, Edgar Mendoza, Luis Moreno, Andy Mojica, Danny Muñoz, Miriam Moreno, Melissa Nava. Daniel Muñoz Sanchez, Jason Navas, Rodolfo Navarrete, Juan Huen, Juan Huen, Carlota Orea, Monique Núñez. Michael Ortega, 
Maritza Perez. Cindy Perez. Austin Phillips. Eduardo Perez. Ramiro Pineda. Rebecca Perez. Karina Prado. Jessica Perez. Karina Ramirez. Elisa Pimentel. Karen Ramadan. Diana Pintos. Noeli Ramirez. Noel Prado. Sebastian Ramirez. Jessica Ramirez. Isaac Ramos. Mariela Ramirez. Daniel Reyes. Rafael Ramirez. Jose Reyes. Rubén Ramirez. Miguel Reza. Adrián Reyes. Carlos Rivera. Eric Reyes. Leslie Rivera. Yamil Reyes. Angelica Rodriguez. Dulce Rivera. Christopher Robles. Monica Rivera. Victor Rodriguez. Amber Rodriguez. Vanessa Rubio. Randy Rodriguez. Christopher Ruiz. Alejandro Rodriguez. Daniel Salgado. Ariel Ruiz. Beatriz Sanchez. Amy Salgado. Leslie Sanchez. Josue Salgado. Oscar Sandoval. Jose Sanchez. Mariana Silverio. Ricardo Sanchez. Glenn Solis. Elizabeth Sevilla. Christian Suarez. Esmeralda Sirena. Nancy Talavera. Manuel Silverio. Tan Tau. Antonio Soto. Ulysses Teodoro. Mara Talavera. Jose Torres. Catherine Tellez. Lilibeth Torres. Miguel Toro. Dominic Tuma. Marco Urosegui. Maximiliano Trujillo. Curtis Benseco. Miguel Tinsun. Brenda Vega. Roberto Torres. Jasmine Velasquez. Jacqueline Valadez. Josue Vélez, Jacob Vázquez, Osiris Vergara, Cristina Ventura, 
Daniel White. Javier Velasquez. Cesar Zuno. Manuel Villaverde. Carlos Amasqua. Angelica Sendejas. Jessica Rios. Alexis Arvizu. Martinez Victor Morales At this time, I'd like to introduce Andrea Martin Del Camo, Senior Class President. Congratulations, Saturday Class of 2014. As a symbol of graduation, you may now please move your tassels to the left.